The easternmost part of the state of Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, is a cold arid zone bereft of any worthwhile plantation. Lying at an enormous altitude of more than 12,000 feet, Ladakh is one of the highest inhabited places on earth. With a unique identity, the landscape of Ladakh is breathtaking and is often referred to as moonscape. Surrounded by lofty mountains, Ladakh hardly gets rains, turning this place into a cold desert where the temperatures can dip to minus 40 degrees Celsius in winters. The people of Ladakh have to bear extreme cold conditions in winters with minimal traditional sources of warmth available. They are mostly dependent on cow or yak dung, besides very expensive and rarely available kerosene and diesel for their energy requirement. In the absence of enough plantation, Firewood is also very scanty. As Ladakh needs to preserve its green cover for posterity more than any other place, meeting energy requirements of the region in winters is a challenge. The only upside is the sun which keeps showing its face round the year. Sustainable development in the region making use of the sun's energy is an option that's starting to give these people a sigh of relief. People have been using their traditional wisdom to harness sun's energy for warming of their homes. Most of the houses have huge glass windows on the southwestern side, allowing sunlight to come in. They have thick mud walls and smaller windows on the other sides protecting heat to escape. With advancement in technology, the solar energy is now being used for cooking, water heating, electricity, and also heating up homes more efficiently. Using a concept called Trombe Building Design, the new buildings in Ladakh are making the best use of sun's energy. Felix Trombe, a French engineer, introduced the concept of Trombe building design in 1940s. It is, is about choosing the right material and orienting the buildings towards where the energy is, which is sun and free, and then using human resource to design it in a, in a way that the heat of the sun in the day is captured for night and for weeks. You insulate the building, first you orient so you rightly so you capture and then you insulate it so that that heat is captured through the day into the night or any cloudy spells and that's all. Trombe's concept helps trap the sun's heat energy during the day and retains heat inside the homes for longer duration. This causes the night temperatures inside the homes to stay around 20 to 30 degrees higher than the outside temperatures. Yes, 
Ladakh is increasingly adopting the concept as it has abundant sunshine available in winters and the design is economically viable. In this regard, Ladakh Ecological Development Group took some initiatives way back in 1983. Now, look, in 1983, the concept started in 1983. After that, the project was made. So, from the beginning, our activities, that has been remained uh, related to the uh, ecological condition, environment conditions. So, us wakat ham ye emphasize kar rahe the ki yahan ki local conditions ki mutabik jo development kam hote hai, abhi buildings bana rahe hain aur bhi itni bahut si cheeze hain appropriate technology ko yahan adopt karne chahiye jo local environmental condition ko suit kare. So, this is a concept that we have in the region as a whole. Sunny days are very high. So, winter is very severe. So, we have a lot of rain and rain. We have a lot of rain and rain. So, this is a concept that we have in the solar energy. We have a lot of energy. So, we have a lot of solar energy. So, we have a lot of energy. So, we have a lot of energy. So, we have a lot of Dark gain का मतलब ये हो गया देख तो शीशे डबल लगे हैं तो उसका मतलब ये हो गया कि वहाँ से जो सूरज की गर्मी आती है कमरे के अंदर आ जाए तो गर्मी रहे तो इसका ये देखा गया हमने कि इसका फायदा दिन के लिए तो है दिन को गर्मी रहता है दिन में जो आदमी उस कमरे में अच्छी तरह रह सकता है वो खरीद so, in this the Trom Wall concept introduced. Kiya. The Trombe building design of Felix Trombe has a simple design. The most important constituent is the south facing Trombe wall as against traditional south facing window. The sun's energy, instead of heating the air in the room, heats up the wall that retains the heat for long hours and radiates it inside, warming up the entire home. Trombe walls also work on the basic greenhouse principle that heat from the sun passes through glass easily, but once inside the glass impedes its return path. Thus, the heat gets trapped and stays inside. Earth receives an enormous amount of energy from sun. This energy is in the form of radiation, mainly in the visible short wavelength range. Glass is transparent to this visible short wavelength radiation. That means it allows short wavelength radiation to pass through. As it passes through the glass, it strikes the ground, which absorbs this radiation. Ground re-radiates, but it re-radiates at a longer wavelength. Glass is opaque to this longer wavelength. It does not permit this longer wavelength radiation to go out. Therefore, it remains trapped. This longer wavelength is actually thermal infrared. That means you are trapping heat inside the glass house, resulting in an increase in temperature inside the glass house. The construction of a trombe wall is simple and economically viable. And the traditional building materials including stone and mud brick provide the heat capacity needed for heat storage in a trombe wall. What needs to be done is a thick wall of mud or stone bricks constructed on the south side of the house. The wall is colored with black paint on the outside to increase the absorption of radiation. A panel of glass is set up, keeping a 3 to 6 inch gap between the wall and the glass. The glass is double glazed. Two panes are set up parallel to each other and fixed in tightly.
This wall once ready absorbs the sun's radiation during the day and the wall heats up circulating warm air inside the building. If properly insulated, the building can keep the heat for longer periods. Trombe building design is gaining popularity among the rich and is being used in public and private sector buildings. The challenge, however, is designing trombe walls that complement Ladakh's traditional architecture and also to promote it in building ordinary Ladakhi homes. Trombe houses have shown Ladakhis a clean, reliable alternative to fire as a source of heat. The traditional fuels like dung burn poorly and offer a poor relief from the bitter winter temperature. The increasing use of diesel generators in winters adds up to the pollution level. The smoldering dung and burning of diesel as fuel produces significant amounts of smoke that fouls the air and causes many health problems. There were only diesel generators in the villages which supplies electricity and it costs a lot on the, not only cost uh, a lot on the stake, uh, state exchequer but it's a, you know, uh, it damages the environment heavily, you know, because of the emission, etc. It costs a lot, you know, because the fuel has to be transported from the plains. And on the country, you have to keep a uh, huge stock for six winter months, you know, when the area remains cut off from the rest of the world. So these, these were serious challenges Ladakh perceived, you know, and for that Ladakh tried to uh, harness solar energy, you know, for space heating as well as for electricity. And you know, we have very harsh winter in Ladakh and people use lots of uh, cow dung and timber for heating their rooms, you know. And on the country, uh, you see that Ladakh is a desert place. This also uh, had been, you know, damaging the uh, this uh, environment and the ecology badly. There is a solar potamana, gunla, a chat bokarita madina, de bokarita chabutendu, shilana, shina, dea top matop gama to sena, pipatamat, pipataman, noun, tep gandashat, sarma sunta, his yon chow kosa, tablin man mamut in jinab, there is the solar potamana dun gama butendu. Trombe walls offer relief from both the cold and the smoke. The concept of trombe houses is rapidly becoming popular and now some schools in Ladakh are practically applying it. The Sekmal school, 12 kilometers from Leh, has adopted the technology, allowing it to remain open during the winters. Earlier, because of the harsh and long okay. winters, students would lose a lot of time but now they can study in these structures around the year. The benefits of passive solar building design are quite evident. The long way from France, where the trombe wall was conceived, to the arid zone of Ladakh in the Himalayas, it's been a long journey. But good ideas have a way of getting where they are most needed. Dasang achi the anu di solar po achi the anu mahalla sumya jo mahalla sankwa anu registration chut. Yang man achi man gama shogat dinat. Tadir ka thob na man gama achi shogat. Our major role is to provide them with the technology, and we also support a bit in terms of you know financial matters you know. But the major contribution is that of the beneficiary you know. We train the masons, we train the people, we train them how to best use their uh, passive solar houses, etc. So our support is in terms of, uh, you know, technical, uh, providing them uh, with technical support, a little bit of uh, financial support also. The simple, cost-effective, energy-saving ideas for warming the home are catching up in the coal arid zone. Earth is our home, and we need to employ concepts like trombe walls to protect it and achieve sustainable development. <laughs>